Hi guys, an amazing day to all of you and welcome to already episode 4 of the How to Crop series. Today we'll be looking at grapes and this will also be the first video in which I have separated uh, one crop from all the others because it, um, yeah, it deserves its own explanation. Um, it has enough tips and tricks for the own for the harvest on the grapes to put it in one uh, video and in today's episode i will show you all the different machines that you will be using um obviously in the description i will give you guys the price list for how much um yeah the entire endeavor will cost you because let me tell you uh, becoming a winer uh, and starting your own vineyard in this game is pretty expensive let me just put it out there that um, the entire setup with the field because they have a, a specially attributed field to them um, doesn't matter how you want it or where you want it but if you buy this field in the game like i um, explained to you in earlier videos all the fields are for sale as you can see i have many but there are some still left over and as you can see they all are pretty hefty priced um, yeah, and for the grape field, it was two hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars to um, yeah to unlock it. Now that's not the only thing. the um, The grape harvester is uh, two hundred and forty two thousand dollars, and all in all, we will end um, on six hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Now the reason that I separated the grapes out of all the other ones is, like I said, they have an entire field attributed to them. Um, but they also have a different way of preparing it, um, the way you harvest it, um, and I call it the worker and lineup trick. Where we will unload them, because the grapes, um, sadly, as the first crops in this series, don't go into your own silo. And that basically means that you have to take care of them right away. Now, let me just start um, yeah, the harvest, and um, I will show you the first step. So step one is getting into this um, this beautiful grape harvester. It works finicky. And this is one of the machines that I would recommend using with a worker. Now line him up properly that he stands in front of the grapevine. And what we can easily do is just drive him over, line him up, and that didn't go very well. Oh, I can't steer. Let's try that again. What we do is we line him up Set them straight, and maybe we can already start it. Let's see what happens. So we started the worker now. Will he correct my mistake? No, he does not. So we'll line them up again. And just swirl your camera around so you can see that he's straight. Now, I think this is enough. I think you will correct it now. He again did not correct it. Ay, ay, ay. Well, like I said, this one is finicky, this one needs, and sometimes you do it five times in a row immediately, and then the sixth time it won't work with you. Last try, I think this one will do it. Correct it a bit, hops into the vines, yes, and as you can see at the, at the bottom of your screen, the grape logo has appeared, in other words, that means that he is ready. Uh, the tank is already full so what we're gonna do is and this is the uh, the worker offloading trick that I wanted to show you now as you uh, already saw in the part before when he's finished um, he will drive backwards to the point where um, yeah well where he can offload and uh, I did a pretty good harvest I think or a plant accession and, and fertilizing because he went up and down only twice um, to finally fill up um, his entire machine. So what we're doing now, you want to be careful here, because he stops right there. And what you can do is you can line up your wagon under it without disabling the worker function. You line it up under it, he will unload the grapes. As you can see, my wagon is charging. 
it will go to about 25%. So let me have that already uh, put out there, 25%. Uh, he needs about four full, um, full tanks to fill me up entirely. Now that's perfect. And what we will just do is um, I will start a time lapse of this uh, entire session till we, uh, till we reach a full wagon and then I will show you where we can uh, bring it away. done four passes now I waited for him at the bottom and as you can see every two or three passes he just decides to stop on the other side but as you guys can see the wagon is getting fuller the Landini is having a lot more trouble climbing this incline and our colleague uh, is still ripping away on the canola which is beautiful now again uh, to have the worker constantly continue his job, cleanly park behind him, like I've said previously, unload him, let him unload the grapes, and with a full wagon, let me drive over to the grape processing station. See you there. approaching the grape processing unit we'll drive over to the um, to the area that's been marked as you guys can see i've already had some grape juice ready for me but for you guys one wagon by the way let me quickly show you because i have the production so if we go into the list we see grape juice and raisins at this point we have 6747 liters of grapes Keep that in mind because I will cut back to this number after the full harvest. You just drive over, it will make the sound again and it will drop off pretty quickly. And as you guys can see, one full load, one wagon accumulates to 12,000 liters of grapes. So do this um, five times, so you have $60,000 of grapes. Let me get back to the colleague, let me finish up the harvest and I will get back to you guys to show you the final number. Hi right, guys, so quick tip. Um, when you're mid harvest and um, you figured out the worker and offload uh, tip and trick and it works for you, the second tip is always um, remove your wagon again. Now, as you can see, because that's something you can clearly see, the right one has been um, harvested clearly and the left one hasn't. So you can always see where he has been with his harvester. Now what I mean by that is um, don't line this one up in front of him because um, yeah, well, they will get into a collision. They won't actually collide, but they will say that we can't move further. So just keep it, as a, keep it in mind to always move the truck away because on otherwise they will uh, again collide stop working and um, while you're doing something else and you're having fun on um, I don't know which tractor or whatever yeah well they stop working and the time continues and your harvest won't get ready
Thanks guys, and with that the grape harvest is coming to an end. It was quite a ride, my time is set on uh, real time and uh, if you uh, check this timestamp in the left top corner of the screen, yeah, this took me about uh, 40 to 45 minutes. Well, as you can see the grape harvester uh, for its last pass won't turn around, so that is what we have to do ourselves. I will do that off screen because I think the video is getting a bit long. And I will skip one month forward to show you what um, yeah, what we have to do after because the entire process is not really finished yet. So we're still in, October, in August, uh, we put away our equipment, the weather is getting darker, it's 10 past 6 and it's time for, uh, for a night's rest. And as I said, the last part of the, um, the grape process will happen in the next month. Because at this point, you can decide whether or not you want to start growing um, more grapes. Or you think, well, and that's what I kind of forgot um, to show you, how much um, produce you create with one great grape harvest. Because as you can see, we went from 6,000 liters in a little bit to 43,000. Now, as you can see, it processes five grapes in cycle in almost 1300 cycles a month and what that means is that you do 1300 times five um which then comes to six and a half thousand which means that every month it uses about six and a half thousand liters now 43 and a half divided by six and a half it's about seven months of grapes and since grapes are literally the fastest um the fastest crop you have in the game literally like I can prepare it now and I think in two months it's ready again. Um, what that tells you is that grapes are quick, but it's also a crop that you can decide to, um, to leave hanging around a bit. So what we do now is we go back to here so we don't have to walk over. And as you can see, the grapes have, um, you know, well, the leaves have turned brown and as you can see, it needs plowing. Now, the grapes say it needs plowing, but that's not entirely too true. They need pruning. Now, let me show you, because you have to plow it once with, um, with these two implements. Um, so the first one, the disc, as it says, subsoil prepares fields for the next sowing. Um, yeah, this is true when you first buy it afterwards it will have um, the plowed field ready for you so what you do is um, at this point we've skipped a month so again we go to over to this implement because this implement oh god always the wrong side line them up activate the worker again and he will activate the implement and as you can see it will start driving around and will take away all the um, brown leaves and let me show you that this will take away also the need plow so we step out we're uh, dancing on a line of leaves and what you can see is oh wait it still needs plowing okay that means that uh, I've personally reached uh, the third or fourth cycle of um, of growing grapes and that means that you do need to plow now that's a lot of work but for me I would argue that um, I have enough grapes for the couple of, for the upcoming months so um, yeah, we will let him prune. We will let him uh, take down the leaves. Oh, by the way, if you do not want to continue, because um, I'm gonna stop him now. If you think like, okay, I've got enough grapes, then you uh, should not prune, because when you not prune, the grapes won't start growing again, which then will help you to um, basically pause this field for a second and have him, um, yeah, have it wait for you whilst you are um, working through your grape processor. Hi guys, yeah, I wanted to add this very quickly because um, yeah, well, the plowing bit of these fields is annoying and yeah, I just wanted to show you how it works. So, first time you have to hug the vines like this because you have to basically do the every vine twice because otherwise it won't take away the needs for plowing. But let me show you what happened when we've already gone over it once, so we did it properly. Look, let me show you quickly. You can see this entire path is taken down. 
Now that's because it was already part partially plowed before. Let me show you what happens when I take down the other bit. So you can just neatly drive in the middle. Believe me, this is so much better than having to hack the vines and do all the bits and pieces that are close to the vines. So now what we do is um, we drive through the middle with these uh, with the mulcher or with the cultivator for the grape fields, whatever you want to call it. And now we've done this pass. Let me just quickly show you if I'm actually right. You see, it cleaned up the entire pass, even the little wobbles that were in the middle. So. After your first time plowing and you've taken it all down properly and you that will be indicated with parts of grass, um, then you get an easy job. Then it's only one pass. So you take down this and let me show you that it also has nothing to do with the pruning on our right here. So we're going to go into the next lane and luckily with the, uh, with the pruning, we can see from this first pass at least where we've been. So, we dive in again. Just do a small part and then I think the video is really over. Let me show you, even with the prunes, prune, the not pruned vines in the middle, it will completely wipe away the red part which indicates that it needs plowing. So pruning has always need to, needs to be done, plowing every, so, um, every other year, or every other two years. And this is what happens to your field composition. And this is what you really need because in the end, this will get you to 100%, 100% on your crop. And that's the way you get the most crop, the best crop and the healthiest crop. Guys, again, as I just said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.